the pad pod, the pad pod, hanging with the hickey squad, think he's cool, we do too, listen up, he speaks the truth, the pad pod, the pad pod, be a part of hickey squad, no more singing, go, 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 this is the pad hickey show. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. It is the Pat Hickey Show. I love the jingle. Yeah, I the still love good. the jingle. Yeah, the jingle's good. Right? I can still. I and you was, made that. I give you credit for that one. I wish I made that. You made that. That I was did, awesome. I did make that. That jingle. was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You are the that man. Was good. You're the man. Uh, thank you. Sweetie. Rusty is for hire, by the way. He's not just mine. I do own the rights to him, but he's yeah. He's, pretty he much any time you do a show, yeah, he yes. gets a kick. You I know, get a kick, a little kick the, back, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, we sure appreciate you being here. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can be notified every time a Pat Pod is released. You can also find Pat on it, YouTube and on Instagram and it, Facebook and. LinkedIn and LinkedIn, all the other ones. All that hickey. Hey, when one. is Tucker Carlson coming on our show? We were talking about Tucker Carlson earlier today. You were talking to him. I, I talked to him. When is he that. coming on our show? Well, yeah, I bet you if we went to D.C., he'd do the show. We'd have to go do the show from D.C. I can I'm flying. We're flying. Let's, why don't we bring him to Arizona? Let's probably have him come to Arizona. He'd like to come to Arizona. Washington is crazy right now. That's true. He'd more have more fun out here. He might. He's yeah, a good dude. That's pretty, I, I mean, heard he's fun. From, he's from San Francisco, so... We won't hold that against he him. He doesn't probably want to go back there. Yeah, you know? no, no. Anyway, um... You know, a lot of people, a lot of times you do the show and you talk about motivation and you talk about work ethic and inspiration, but um, can we have fun? Yeah, in we life? can, we can. And we need to try new stuff. Okay. Like we got to try new stuff. Like I just tried mountain biking and really? I really suck at mountain biking. And I don't think you, I mean, I've rode bikes before and I, I rode lots of different bikes. What's right? different than riding a bike and mountain biking? Well, the new mountain biking is extreme mountain biking. Now. Okay. You go up in a gondola. And you like 40 minutes and then you get to the top of the mountain and you drive down the mountain like at Mach 4 speeds and hope <laughs> that you don't crash and break every bone in your body. Wait a second, 40 minutes up? 40 minutes up, two hours down. And it's crazy. Does but it hurt? I gotta tell you, oh, when you fall, it hurts. But you've got to try new stuff. And the thing is that most, I mean, I have a lot of employees that work for me that, you know, they're like, oh, it, you know, you, you de determine, do you live to work or do you work to live? Mm -hmm. What times we come into place that we fall in these ruts that we live to work. And that's that's not life because then you get unmotivated. You have to have motivation to work. So you gotta try new stuff. Like mountain biking, you know, I love mountain bike. I've tried. You enjoyed it? I, oh man, I, I'm buying a new mountain bike now. And by the way, I didn't know bikes cost more than cars now. <laughs> <laughs> bikes cost more than cars. You go get these eat, and there's like 90 different bikes to choose from. And the bike guy goes, oh no, nowadays you own more than one bike. What? Oh yeah, and the bikes start at like five thousand. Well, I mean, first like, of all, the bike guys always get it's like coming. No, to they're Pat like, Hickey oh no, you have car. to have an e-bike. You got to have a downhill bike. You got to have a trail bike. You got to have a. And I'm a salesman, so I'm easily sold. Right. But you got to have a bike for every occasion. You can't now, just have a bike. Now, see, no bike. I think that's a new uh, sales tip for you. You need a car. You need a, yeah, you need a car. You need a truck. You need an SUV. Right. You need an e-car. You, mm -hmm. you do. A I sports agree. car. Yeah. I think that's car. something you should work on. It's motivation. Uh -huh. Right. It's motivation. <laughs> but we we're talking about trying new stuff. Like, and again, is that without trying stuff, we, we're afraid, and I think that most people are afraid to suck. Because, but you know what? The thing is, normally the, the, the route you go is you suck, then you're average, then you're good, then you're great. But you can't so, ever be great without being sucky first. So you need to suck for success. You, you got to You got to be sucked to success, right? You got to before you can be <laughs> successful, you got to suck at something, and, okay. and you got you got to try. And you're gonna you're gonna suck at it. And don't be afraid to suck. It's like everyone's like, I don't want to go bowling because I suck, or I don't want to do this because I'll suck. I, it just you got to try new stuff and not be afraid to fail at it. Because you might find that one thing you love and have passion and work even harder to get to that thing. Because now that I found I got to buy a bunch of bikes, I got to work harder. I got to sell more cars. <laughs> so I got to go and I, you know, I'm like, yeah, I want to buy this bike and I like that bike and I like this bike. And yeah. I want to travel here to go buy bike and I want to ride the bikes. Please and come to Peoria Ford and buy a number of vehicles. So, so I can buy, buy some, some more bikes. Some more bicycles, yeah. please. You know, PeoriaFord.com. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the plug. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but think about, uh, you know, what you know, have you not tried? Sometimes life's so mundane, mm -hmm. you know, again, and as a kid, think about all the things. When we played sports when we were younger, you play, your parents try to push you, hey, play soccer, play baseball, play football, play, you know, lacrosse, play anything you could play so that you got a touch of everything to see what you really liked. Now, and then people say, oh, you can only do one sport. You can only do this. And it's got very, very, you know, minute in the amount of things people try nowadays mm -hmm. anymore. But they, 
Although yeah. the difference is, Pat, you and I are old guys, and today you're it's, old. I'm not old. That's true. I just look old. I'm in the carbons. I'm like, you know, I'm only like thirty. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's third yeah. 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 But the difference, you know, you're talking about we were told by our parents to, you know, try football, try right. baseball, try. Now it's here, try Fortnite. No, try right. Video, yeah. This other yeah, it's video, video games. games. Yeah. Right, right. But it's, you know, hey, I love video games. When I play, I used to play video uh, Atari first came. We were talking yeah. about that earlier today. Yeah, you know, that, that I love video games. I still love them. And the video games now are way cooler. But the problem with that, they're not social, really. They kind of are. Like, you know, I had a conversation with my son the other night. He's got a six pack and he's going to his room. And I'm like, that's cool. that's kind of that's a sign of a problem. <laughs> I like in my world when I grew up, I was like, if you went to your room with a six pack, <laughs> my dad would have gone like, son, you got a drinking problem if you're drinking by yourself. And your son's 14 too. Which no, is. no, no, he's 21. <laughs> okay. But at the end of the day, he's like, oh yeah, dad, we all do that. We get a six pack, we go online, and that's how we that's what we do now. Right. And it seems so weird to me because they're talking and no, they're they're engaging and, and, and they're drinking beers, and I guess it's better than now, especially with all the things going on with COVID. That that's the new norm, right? Mm -hmm. But it's still not engaging. You're not physically, you know. There's something about saying going out with a couple guys out in the wild and going hunting, you know, that commodity, that that engagement, that sportsmanship. That's a lot different than playing a video game. And I think mm -hmm. you got to try new stuff: mountain biking, skateboard. I tried wake surfing too. How'd you do that? Um, I don't want to comment. I didn't do very well. Wow. I did because you know, my kids were making fun of me because I told them I used to be a really good wakeboarder. That's when I weighed like 150. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to get when you weigh 150. When right. you weigh 250, no, then that's so you need a bigger boat. Yeah. I told him the guy was the boat's problem. It wasn't me. <laughs> need a bigger boat. Need a bigger engine. Are you a golfer? Uh, well, I have played golf, yeah, and you know, just like anything, I suck at it. I, I'm terrible, yeah. Yeah, but it's still I always get, the windmill and the clown always get in the way from Yeah, me, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I like the bumps going over the hills. Yeah. Right? yeah. I'm but, great at driving the cart. Yeah. Really and, good at that. But, you know, just like golf, why don't a lot of people play golf or try golf? They don't want to suck. Right. Or if they do suck, they don't want to take lessons to get better. They don't want to go out and do it until they don't suck anymore. Mm -hmm. They give up before they get past the suck stage. And I would guess, in your using your philosophy, that by working through that, you use golf as an example, and getting going from suck to success, that travels over to your business life too because you've seen it's all success. integrated right yeah. it's all if you're not trying new stuff you can't you got to fail before you can succeed right you mm -hmm. got to fail before you succeed but I also I say is that at the end of the day you know you tr still outside of work like I'm gonna go try pickleball a lot of my buddies are playing pickleball that's it, and yeah, I used yeah. to play tennis but it's like the new in thing right yeah. now so I hope I don't like it because then I have to put a court in my backyard <laughs> and do all that but at the end of the day I'm gonna I'm gonna try the new thing I'm gonna try is pickleball mm -hmm. so that's you know anybody that wants to play pickleball you look in. me up call me we're playing. Um, you're also not very good at droning. No, that's, that's no, thing, no. Yeah. And the you one got, thing is, yeah. is you turned me on to droning and yeah. I went and bought one of the, you know, like what I do is I usually go to the thing and I'll buy the best thing because I really get into something right. and I'm not into it anymore. Yeah, the first day I crashed my drone in the pool and it sunk to the bottom. Yeah, like, Bra a brand new drone. $2,500. Mm. Yeah. $2,500. Yeah. $2, yeah. $2, one, $2, one flight, right? It was not even considered a flight. It was like a half a flight. And then and then I had to go buy another one because it was actually a gift I got for Christmas and I didn't want my wife to know I ruined it the first day. So I have another drone that I have not flown yet. Oh, you're the kidding. exact same drone. You never flown it. No, no, I'm afraid to drive the, to crash another twenty five hundred dollars. I will teach you how to do the drone. Right, right. So So there's a lot of things that, you know, again, it's okay to have fun in life. I mean, Pat's always talking yeah. about success and motivation and all of that's great and it's super important, but it's also important to have fun in your life. Right. Because we And have hobbies. Have hobbies. Have hobbies. Have hobbies. Have hobbies. Have hobbies. That's gonna be our next one. We're gonna talk about why to have hobbies. Why to have hobbies. In oh. your business life. You need a lot of hobbies. Okay, then a we better stop hobbies. this show now and get That's right. to the next one. A lot one. of hobbies. Okay. Next thing is hobbies. Next one's hobbies. All right, make sure uh, you do uh, one thing in your hobby of social media, and that is subscribe to the Pat Pod. And share it. And share it. Right. Thank you. And, and uh, send money. Money would be nice. Yeah, uh -huh. if you can. Huh? Yeah. I'm sure you can. Yes. I mean, we're not talking about a lot. Thousands. Whatever, go buy a car. <laughs> or just come buy a car. Just Peoria come buy Ford. a car, Peoria. I love Ford. it. I love All it. All right, uh, subscribe, hit the notification button, follow Pat on uh, Facebook or Twitter or uh, Instagram, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Right here, I'm Rusty Embrace. He's Pat Hickey, and thanks for hanging out with us here on the Pat Pod.